All right, welcome to another edition of Mr. Les's podcast. Today we're going to look at how to use Microsoft Movie Maker. All right, first we're going to go down to our start button and we're going to open Microsoft Movie Maker. We can open it two ways. One, we can click to all programs and click on Movie Maker or in the search file, we could just type in something as simple as movie and we're going to get Movie Maker. We open up Microsoft Movie Maker and here is the basic uh, working area on, uh, with Microsoft uh, Movie Maker. Now it's very simple to uh, use Microsoft Movie Maker once you understand uh, the layout of the screen. This over here in this black box is our viewing area. This is our collections and uh, task area. These are where we choose some of the options that we want to uh, work on. For instance, if we want to capture video, we want to edit a movie, or we want to finish it. And down here, which is probably one of the most important work areas, is what's called our uh, storyboard or our timeline. Now as we work with movies and as we worked with uh, PowerPoint, we created a layout. We created a research and we did our, our pre-work to making our movie. <clears throat> what we did uh, when we create a uh, video is we always need to create a storyboard and a storyboard is basically just a bunch of thumbnail images uh, giving us a, an idea of how our story is going to you know how we want our story to look we can't just jump into making a movie without any idea or without a vision so what we do is we create a storyboard and when we click the storyboard button it shows us square by square by square by square um, so that allows us to just uh, essentially drag and drop pictures in there. If we look at our timeline, our timeline is a little more detailed where it shows us specific times. Okay, So here's the basic working area of um, Microsoft Movie Maker. First thing we want to do, as we always do, is we want to save our project. Now remember, the first thing we do is we go File, Save Project As. Okay, By saving as, we're choosing a location. The location is in the My Videos location. And I am going to call this, I'm making a video on Peli and I'm gonna go Pelly's bio and it says file type Wonder Movie Maker file type and that's what we want to do so we're saving it in the videos folder as Pelly and I'm gonna go save if you notice up here the file name now comes up as Pelly alright the first thing we're gonna do is we need to import now if we're working with video or if we're working with still images which is just pictures uh, we need to import them Okay, with this assignment, all we're going to work with is still images, just pictures, and we're going to create a movie, the same as what we did with PowerPoint, just different, um, out of those pictures. So, I want to import the pictures. If you look right here under Tasks, it says Import Pictures. I'm going to click on this button. It's going to give us our import file. Now, I had saved all my pictures in uh, my Pictures folder, and that's located in the Libraries, and then you'll see Pictures and I created a specific folder just for Peli. I'm going to double click on Peli and here are my images for Peli. Now I don't have a whole bunch of them, you're obviously going to have a lot more but just for this demonstrative purposes this is what we have. So I'm going to click this one, hold the shift button down, collect this which selects all of them and then I'm going to go import and what it's going to do is it's going to import our pictures. Okay, now to create a still image video, and that's what we're doing, is all we need to do really is click on our storyboard, if we want to use a storyboard or a timeline, and just drag and drop the images in there. <clears throat> so, uh, the same as what we did with our PowerPoint, we wanted to start with uh, Pelly as a young child and work our way through the position progressions of him being a professional and, and what his accomplishments were and having championships, etc. So here if we look we have uh, Pelly as a young boy right here. So let's take off this one. And what we do is I, you see I just click and I just drag it down here and drop it. And it gives me a certain time. When I put my cursor over top you see I get a little Mickey Mouse hand show up and tells me the duration of the picture is for 5 seconds. Okay, we can go and change those after. So I have the, him as a little child. Let's grab a couple more young pictures of him. Put a picture here. Let's put a picture here. Put this one in. Let's make it through uh, some of his accomplishments. Okay, we have him here as his Pelly's world famous bicycle kick. And maybe this, oh, no, we used that picture already. Um, let's put him here, maybe win this. Okay, fantastic. And then we have him in color, winning this image. And then we have Pelly himself with all his four gold medals or six gold medals. And then we have a picture of him, let's say, kissing the golden shoe. And of course, 
the World Cup in the background, and then that will we finish off with a big thumbs up. Yeah. Okay, so all we've done here essentially is we've just put pictures in a row. If we grab this little time slider right here, we can see that in total our movie has become 50 seconds. Now 55 seconds per slide or per picture is pretty long. So I can drag this anywhere along the timeline that I want. If I click the play button, what it'll do is it'll show just the pictures playing. Now, you can essentially uh, say that this is basically like a PowerPoint slide that is total and it's just showing the picture, except we're going to do a lot more to it right now, okay? So we'll let that, we'll pause that and we'll continue on. And if, lo and behold, as you see right here, we have what's called transitions. If you remember what transitions are from our PowerPoint presentation, it is the change, it is the movement from one to another, right? So transitions are going to go in between. Let me click on the transitions. And the transitions are how each picture is going to change. Now you know me, I'm a simple guy. I like the fade, okay? So if I click on fade and I click here and then I press the play button, it's going to show me how it transitions, how it changes. So if I take this fade and I drag this in between the two, so you notice right here that a line shows up, I'm going to get a transition in between. So as I play this, let's move this drag over here and play, you will see that this changes and it slowly has a transition. Cool. Okay. So we're just going to go through and drag a bunch of transitions here and here in between. As you know, I'm going to keep telling you, try not to use too many transitions. I like to use the same. Obviously, you can change it up. If you want to use Dissolve, just change it. Put the Dissolve in there instead. If you want to use the checkerboard, checkerboard. It's your video. Do as you please. Okay? So if I press play here, you'll see that the slide continues. Transition, transition, transitions. And it slowly moves on. Now you see down here, we can add audio. We can also add text. And that's going to be for our next lesson. All right, so in this one, just to recap, just what we've learned, we've learned how to import the pictures, click import pictures, choose the location that you want, choose the folder, select all the pictures by pressing the shift key, click the import button. We've used or learned how to add the pictures. So if we are looking at our collection and here's our pictures, if you notice again how I did that, I clicked on the collections. We can just drag our pictures down here into the timeline or into the storyboard. We can click and drag them into the storyboard. And then we've added transitions. Click on a transition and add the transition in between the two. So if this is in the timeline, take the transition and drop it in between the two pictures. That's it for today. Welcome or join me tomorrow and I'll show you how to continue with adding video effects to each slide, how to add text over top of each slide, and then how to finish the video. Have a great day.